What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. Monday morning, and we have got a Chelsea selection for you. So I'm just going to be hopping on here before work and getting this up for you guys. So hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are a newcomer. And if you are a regular, you know what's the crack. So we're going to be kicking off with Chelsea, lads. And this is a fairly... I think a fairly good selection, depending on, again, you know, with the with the kind of pro provision that you you are looking for a couple of these players or you're lacking in a couple of areas, right? So we will get into Kante in a second. He goes to a whopping 96. I am definitely going to be spinning for Kante, even though I have got serious cover in that defensive role. Anytime I've come up against any version of Kante, he's been a monster. The one thing that's stopping Kante from becoming a beast is his form, which we'll get into in a second. But the rest of the players in this, as we look at them here, I will go through a couple of them quite quickly uh, because there's a couple of average players in here. Even if you're starting out, I wouldn't really recommend to be spinning for these, uh, you know, because you can get regular center midfielders and regular wingers and right back and left back uh players that are going to be standard players that you can get very easily with gp right so we have Connor gallagher we have aspilicueta mudrick we have pulley and we have kovacic chilwell kante and the goalkeeper mendy right so we are going to go over to efootballdb.com and we are going to take a look at a couple of the players fully maxed out we are going to start with Cal gallagher as well Look, all of these players are fairly average. I mean, as a box-to-box -box midfielder, you are looking for one-touch pass. You're looking for high stamina. You're also looking maybe for something like fighting spirit and then a couple of other tricks um, or dribble player skills and passing player skills. So he does have everything. I mean, he has heel trick. He has cut behind and turn. Doesn't have double touch, obviously, but you don't really need that as a box to box. He has got high acceleration uh, for a CMF because all you need to do is get your a CMFs um, acceleration to about 80 and Gallagher actually trains up quite well so we will go over to eFootball DB and have a little sneaky look at him and see what he looks like which is here right so he goes 28 levels this has been updated now um for accurate player stats and level systems so yeah you never need to worry about that um when it's updated and again all i'd be doing is popping on because i want him as my box to box i don't need to have massive passing on him you know he's not going to be my orchestrator he's a different kind of role um similar to the mason mount car that they released a while back right so because his aggression is so high i'm probably going to pop that at 90 which is very very decent for a cmf and that's kind of why i'm focusing on this guy a little bit because it's very rare that you have a player that can go this high um with this stamina and still also have fairly good acceleration to bring him into a 90 overall now right we can get him a little bit higher if we train him in a different way obviously the defensiveness doesn't need to be as high as that you could train that back down there if you wanted to and you could pop that into a uh, lower body to get his stamina up to 89 77 speed 77 acceleration 88 aggression 74 tackling and 78 uh defensive engagement but then you've also got the, the dribble and the passing stats as well to back it up so a fairly decent a decent player i wouldn't say that you know he's anything to really write home about and keeping this review short and sweet and quickening it up a little bit we are going to go into Puli straight away so pulisic is a kind of an interesting player as well as an outright winger right he does have double touch and he has super subs so straight away when i'm looking at double touch on a on a winger it means that i'm able to rip it up the wings lads we don't need to worry too much about shooting or passing he's not going to be that type of player even if you max out shooting you're only going to get to 85 finishing if you max out passing you're going to get to 85 back pass right so they really kind of like downplay um you know those stats that you should be upgrading you know there's no point you're better off if you want a finishing winger you're better off go buy one that has a base stat of like 75 that you can train up to like 85 very easily right so for this guy all we're going to be focusing on again is trying to get that you know much sought after 90 90 90 which we're very easily able to get here and we're also able to get a couple onto our speed with the 80 stamina which is huge for a player like this even though you don't really need this if you are going to be using him as a super sub so if you are it's a little trick you can actually keep this at like 75 stamina that's more than enough for 25 minutes that he'll be at full maximum capacity with his energy levels everything after that dips but sometimes it doesn't even make a difference anyway you guys know so i would probably put the ball control up to 90 as well just to have him as the ultimate winger we don't need passing we don't need shooting we don't need anything like that i mean you know for a crack we can just throw this in again to have 92 balance and 95 acceleration i mean that's all you really need in a a winger so if you do pull him i definitely think he's worth getting into your squad if you don't have a player that's on form um especially if you know if you haven't got that many wingers in your squad right so when we go back to 
the rest of the team here that's the two boys there we also have Aspilicueta okay now this guy I don't usually uh recommend kind of center backs or right back hybrids this guy can play left back right back or center back right he doesn't have blocker but he has interception man marker aerial superiority slide and tackle captaincy and one touch pass with unwavering form so this is again another very very decent player now if we go over here to his actual stats and we look his standard version is 77 overall with 35 levels this guy is is 81 overall with 35 levels so you know he's a far superior player he's like plus two in every stat compared to his standard ones you can see there that his standard form uh player or standard version of him has got minus five speed and minus two aggression minus two all defensive stats so when we're training him up you've got two options right and i might do a training guide on aspilicueta with a little bit more detail you can actually max him out very very defensive and have an absolute monster here um which is surprising to me at just how good he is right because we're going to leave a couple of these stats here to get that little boost we can tap that out at 15 and we can still get 80 speed right with 84 stamina we can also get 80 acceleration okay which is quite decent his passing his lofted pass his tight possession is very good at that we can pop in a couple more of that just to get the tight possession to 75 if you are a ball playing tight possession based player you will be able to love Aspilicueta and playing with him and we can pop the rest into his aerial ability if we're having him as a center back right that is kind of how I would build him up because he's not the tallest you will need to get that aerial superiority but if you knock on and you add on um if you add on, you know, heading and blocker to this card, I mean, it would be an insane addition to this card. So um, especially his standard card as well. So I think that's an extremely good right back, uh, center back kind of player. Now, obviously, if you're playing him as a right back, we will do that training guide as well. But I definitely think he's one of the picks of the pack. We also have Chilwell here as well. So he's kind of a similar player, but he doesn't have the defending stats, right? The defending goes quite high, but he's definitely more, you know, you're more encouraged to have him as kind of like your engine man with a bit of speed um, because he does have good dribbling and passing as well. So he is a fairly decent player as well. One touch pass. He's got a good pinpoint cross and an early cross play style and player skill hybrid going for him there as well. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But yeah, he's just kind of them two guys are very similar. Um, the same way with Mudrik and um, the Mudrik and uh, Pulisic, right? The two of them are very similar as well. I've covered Mudrik before. I thought he was fantastic when they released him. He's got so many good skills here, right? He's got soul control, uh, which is mean with the double touch. He's got also he's got double touch there as well. Chip shot control. He's able to shoot with dip and shot and long range. Curler one touch pass, gamesmanship and super su super sub. So again, having this guy in your arsenal as a super sub is going to be huge right especially with the pace that he has um that can literally you know be absolutely insane when you are on the wing with him and again you do get that 92 dribbling very very easy which we'll show you here and you also get a lot of um other stats that are quite decent even though i don't focus too much on speed you know it is nice to still have that speed in the 90 you know you can still pump in a few more if you want to but i genuinely would probably think that this guy is one of the best you know because especially with the with the with the dribbling you can get the dribbling to 90 the type possession uh is at 87 the dribbling at 95 the ball control at 90 and then acceleration speed and balance are all at 85 you still have seven points that you can put up there even though he's got one touch pass you can actually make him even more of a better option with the seven into passing which is huge or else you could pop, pop of course seven into finishing to get that to 75 74 as well so a lot of options with this card and another player that i will be doing a training guide on we also have Kovacic, right? So Kovacic is a player that I have recommended way back when. And when you look at his stats here, his standard version had 29 levels at 79 overall. This guy's got 28 levels and he starts at 82 overall. So a lot of these Chelsea players, lads, are going to be slept on. I genuinely think that they are some of the best players that they've released, depending on where you are in your dream team journey. Um, but even at that, I mean, look, you pop five, you pop eight into his dribbling stats there. And you've got ball control, dribble, and tight possession in the 90s, right? You pop eight into this, and you've got 85 acceleration, right? On top of that, you pop eight into this, and you've got 89 low pass. You know, you can hit one more to have 90 low pass there. You've got 91 balance. You've got 92 ball control and dribbling, 94 tight possession, and 90 low pass. Insane, right? When you take him out, that you're going to be using him as an AMF, um you know and you pop on a couple of more we don't need shooting too much we just need you know maybe add a bit to his engine to get 82 stamina because he is going to be playing through the middle as an amf that is a really 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 solid card right and even at that if you wanted something different you could pop on five to 
aggression if he wanted to do that. But I would probably put more into his passing. So I'd probably put one more into the passing there to bring him up. And then I would probably pop one more onto his acceleration. I would try to get that acceleration up as high as I possibly could. Um, but that would just be how I would train him up. Uh, it would be nice to get 75 offensive awareness, but like the rest of his stats are insane. With them player skills, I will be doing a specific training guide on him. And then we have Mendy. So Mendy is a kind of, you know, your average goalkeeper. Even if we pop all of these into reflexes, we go to 90 under reflexes. A lot of people still ask me about goalkeepers. To be honest with you, lads, I don't really recommend training up that many goalkeepers compared to, you know, having the likes of Donnarumma, um, Oblak, Courtois. Uh, and then obviously any of the epic players so you know i think once you get 90 reflexes you just kind of distribute the rest fairly evenly so i'm not going to spend too much time on him and that's kind of bringing us to the pick of the pack which is kante now i am going to be doing a training guide on kante so i will skim over this but all i will say is lads is that if you do not have an epic dmf if you do not have a legendary dmf in your squad such as davits or makalele um or, you know, somebody in that mold, you know, or like special version, you know, Casemiro or Fabinho or Rodri, somebody like that, Busquets, somebody that can just be a complete kind of like stopper, really. I think that Kante is definitely one of the most slept on players in the game, including by myself, right? And I'm going to show you why, right? So he starts off with defensive stats in the 80s, 85 aggression and engagement, 81 defensive awareness and 84 tackling. But he's also got 84 balance with 87 stamina, 77 acceleration, and all his dribbling and passing skills are in the 70s. That's even before you train him up, which is insane. Now, his standard card has got 26 levels and starts off at an 82 overall. This guy's got 31 levels and starts off at an 84 overall. So, I mean, what more could you want from him? Like, he's an absolutely insane card. Now, the only problem is, is that uh, standard form and he's on he's on C rating with the player live update. That is an issue with the card. You're, you're not going to be able to depend on him compared to the epic players. That is one issue that you're going to run into. But look at how many ways we can train him up. And this is why I'm going to show you as a very special uh, training guide on him, right? We pop nine into his defensive stats there. He's going to go to 90s in all the defense, right? On top of that, we're going to have 90 acceleration, 90, 90 stamina with 78 speed. We're also going to have 85 acceleration with 92 balance and 70 awareness. And then you can pick your poison as to which way you want to train him, you know, which I will cover in the training guide. You can turn him into, you know, a fairly decent dribbler when he gets the ball. You can have very average uh, to good passing stats for a CMF or a DMF CMF style player. Or else you can just go fully out with the defense and have one of the most highest rated defensive midfielders in the game. That's a box to box. You will need to put a couple of player instructions on him. So I will give you a couple of key tips for Kante. But I genuinely think that this guy is an absolute monster. And he's definitely the pick of the pack. I will probably be spinning for him myself. Um, that's how much I hold him in regard. Even though I've got Makalele. And, you know, Makalele starts 99% of my games. I will definitely be trying to get Kante that if he is on the bench, I'll be able to spring him on. Um, you know, even if he's on normal form, I'll be able to spring him on when Makalele gets a little bit tired. Or I'll be able to spring him on and play him as a CMF in case Vieira gets tired if I'm playing my sweaty Division 1 squad. So, yeah, absolutely insane player, lads. I think he's definitely one to watch. You know, you can even pop on two more into speed. Um, you know, well, I will do a couple of different ways of training him because there's a lot of different ways of training him depending on your play style, most notably the defense and the attack and how you actually balance that. So, yeah, that is it for me, lads. That is the Chelsea pack. I will be back quite soon. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. Get in touch in the comments below. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.